how many victims haven't been found. We're not certain who's missing and what those numbers will be. Our Perry Russum with search teams on Fort Myers Beach and Valerie Castro with veterans mobilized to help clear their homes and start to recover. October surprise, Herschel Walker, pro-life, no exceptions candidate for Senate in Georgia, accused of paying for an ex-girlfriend's abortion. It is a flight out lie. Walker's denials, the evidence, and his adult son's explosive allegations of abuse. Everything's been a lie. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. The fallout in the crucial swing state. Shock reversal. Elon Musk now says he wants to buy Twitter at his original offer. And now Twitter reports it'll close the deal. Conceivable as soon as next week. He could own Twitter. Former President Trump's new legal Hail Mary in the fight over documents seized from Mar-a-Lago. The California family kidnapped at gunpoint and the hunt for the suspect. And... I was born to call miner's daughter. Remembering the queen of country, Loretta Lynn. Jong-un and former President Trump flaring. Now, with the world's attention fixated on war in Europe, Kim may be taking some inspiration from Russia's President Putin. Get well card. It appears to have Walker's signature there, along with the message, pray you are feeling better. Silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter, he lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. The candidate is rolling back another COVID era precaution. And this one aimed at international travelers. Plus remembering a country music legend, how Loretta Lynn left her mark on the industry and the tributes coming in from those who came after her. Hey. I was born to call miner's daughter In a cabin on a hill in Butcher Holland Tributes pouring in for country music legend Loretta Lynn. Her family released a statement saying she died in her sleep this morning at her ranch in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, about an hour west of Nashville. Dolly Parton called Lynn a sister and a friend whom she misses dearly. Marie Osmond crediting the singer as the reason she fell in love with country music. And Miranda Lambert tweeting, Lynn blazed so many trails for all of us girls in country music. Loretta Lynn was 90 years old. Here's NBC's Katie Beck on the country music star's life and legacy. Loretta Lynn sang about what she knew. Honey, could you stop for the market? Hello? It wasn't always pretty, but it was raw and it was real. And you ain't woman enough to take my man. That authenticity helped to earn her a place in country music history. Born in 1932 in Butcher Hollow, Kentucky, the country legend came from humble beginnings. Her blue-collar pride was the focus of her career catapulting biographical song, Coal Miner's Daughter. A, shovel coal to make a, poor man's dollar. a best-selling book later made into an Oscar-winning film starring Sissy Spacek and Tommy Lee Jones. As Loretta told it, she found the love of her life, Oliver Mooney Lynn, when she was just 13. But do as she called him, was not an ideal husband. Many a night I've laid awake and cried. Loretta dealt with his drinking and cheating by singing about it. He says if it's true, write it. So that's what it is. Despite the hardships, Lynn and Dew stayed together until his death in 1996. I don't know, it just made me feel, feel so special. This woman's liberation, honey's gotta start right now. Many of her songs had a feminist slant almost unheard of during this era in country music, singing about sensitive topics people just didn't talk about in public, like birth control. And her dear uncle Sam in 1966 was one of country music's first songs to mourn American lives lost in the Vietnam War. But I also love my man. This coal miner's daughter was a trailblazer. Well, you either have to be first different or great. I think mm -hmm. I was just first to say things. A self-taught musician. Loretta Lynn, 
first woman to win the Country Music Association's Entertainer of the Year Award, a Grammy and Gold Album winner, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient. With a career that spans 60 years, Loretta Lynn bared her soul to show the world how real life could be. For the news, I'm Katie Beck.